Alex, Captain Freytag, I run CFM. Um, I work out of Berlin and we produce a distortion synthesis based modules, so modules focused on FM and AM. Um, the two modules we have are, uh, the first one is the bipolar half-wave rectifier, which has been out for about a year now. It's um, a very simple passive module, but it allows you to do quite interesting things with waveforms. Um, using it in the normal mode, you have uh, one input and two outputs, one for the positive half of the wave and one for the negative half of the wave. Uh, but you can use it backwards and you can mix two waves together to create um, more complex waveforms out of two waves. You have two of these in one, um, in one module and it, so you can chain them together and make even more complex wave shapes with three different oscillators. Um, the second module we have today is uh, a prototype of our upcoming module which is the BQM. It's a uh, variable quartile multiplier which is um, variable quartile multiplier because it's a multiplier where you can choose the section of the wave in which you multiply. In effect, it's a wave folder, but because of the CV possibilities, it's more accurate to call it a multiplier. Um, the way it does it is a basic, you set a voltage at which you want to fold your level or amplify it, and then amount by which you want to fold it. Um, I can show you this on the scope. Okay, going into it, we just have a normal triangle wave. Now, um, if we break that up and take, give, send the triangle wave into the center, then you just get the positive output at the first output and the negative output at the neg second output. However, if I use it backwards, so I say I put my first wave into the positive input and I put a second wave oscillator into the second input, I can cut the waves and get nice pulsating effects. Because you have two voltages going into it, the point at which it cuts depends on those two voltages. For timing. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then you can also, of course, go really crazy and add a third wave into there. And, and then you can get really nice waves that just dance around wherever you like. And then if you modulate the various inputs, it'll change depending on how, how it's being modulated. You can also use it very nicely with the, um, with the Dr. Optiger, to, which is a very clean filter generally, or any filter for that matter that has various phase outputs. Um, you can get a lot more nasal sounds out of it than you would otherwise. That's without you just your normal filtering. Um, whereas there you're adding a lot more overtones with the square head. So yeah, it's, it's quite a basic utility module. It offers a lot. So the VQM is a variable quartile multiplier, which it, it, the way it works is that you have your waveform going into it, and you pick a voltage on that in that on that wave at which you want to fold the signal. So now here's here we have our triangle wave. I'll just slow it down. Um, I'm going to pick a, volt, a voltage at which to fold it. And now I can amplify that or fold it depending on what I want to do. Both of those are controlled, can be controllable by control voltage. So if I put an LFO into it, I can have it wobbling around. So it gives you a lot of control over the waveform itself in, uh, that you wouldn't no normally have otherwise. Um, if I were to use an envelope on this, I could create quite interesting textures by using envelopes to modulate the shape of the sound.
There are four of these in one module, so you can chain them together to create even more complex sounds. Each sound, each sound can be controlled. Each sound can be either in the positive, the negative, or both, folded in both ranges. And you can control the mix of the original signal with it. So here we just have the difference in the folding. Here we have a negative mix of the original waveform, and here we have a positive mix. The uh, double pots control the the amount of uh, the, the lower pot of the part of the pot controls the, the actual setting itself, and the upper knob controls the CV amount. So you have um, potentiometers for each each uh, CV amount that you add. So you can create very complex shapes with uh, just a single waveform and obviously it being a single waveform you don't have to mix different waves together and keep them in tune. All, it's all happening from one wave so it'll track perfectly. Um, very well with quadrature so if I use the um, the Dr. Octature as an LFO I can get I can get the wave to fold around It's difficult. There you can see it rolling around. It's sort of the midpoint between the sine and the cosine. Um, there are four stages of this. It also has the ability that you can limit the previous stage with the next stage so that you can create a voltage, a um, create very steep incline for one section and then still have the ability to multiply the two with the next section. So if I uh, have a very sharp incline here, then I can limit that and fold it around that point. Where it is without the limiting, you would um, not, you, it would, you wouldn't have the control over the second section, so to speak. Um, yeah, still a prototype. We've got a tiny, few little things to sort out, but uh, hopefully have it out in a couple of months. So the uh, bipolar half-wave rectifier is uh, around 60 euros. Um, it's available at Schneider's and in the US from Analog Haven and Control. And uh, from... Um, Noise, uh, escape from noise in Sweden. Um, the VQM is, uh, I'm looking at around 600 euros hopefully. Um, it's, I'm hoping to have it out in one or two months depending on, there are a few tiny little niggles that need ironing out, but it's uh, almost there.